I'm here with senior forward Sarah Marie Frankenberger. Sarah, the team's had a great season so far. You guys are 17 and 9. Um, what do you think has contributed to that kind of success? I think we this year we have a really, really special team. Um, we bond really, really well on the court and off the court. And um, we know each other a lot better. And I think the chemistry is just one thing that really, really pays our contributor to this great season so far. You guys have won 13 games since January 3rd and only two losses in between. How, do you, how have you been able to maintain such a strong run? Um, I think we're just come, trying to come out every, um, every game like, like it's the final one. We know what we're preparing for, and so we just see it as a test, and we give it all every day in the court. Um, even if it's practice, if it's um, shoot around, we're trying to stay focused, and we know where we're going to go. You had a redshirt season last year after you were injured in preseason. How does it feel to get back this year and be able to play out the season? Um, it's it's a brand new feeling. I it's hard and um, sitting out for a year watching everybody else play, but um, it pushed me so much harder seeing the other girls on the court and coming back. I just I just felt like I I know what what it's like not having basketball in your life. So that like helps me every day like to focus more and to know like that um what I'm working for and that like all this time through like the pain and like the um love running and um, the tough moments, they, they paid off so far uh, already, yeah. Have there been any times throughout the season that you're worried that you could possibly re-injure yourself or anything like that? Um, I mean, there's always this feeling where like I'm a little hesitant maybe in the second or unconscious. I'm, I am, yeah. But um, I feel like I have the brace and I know that I've like, worked hard with my trainer and uh, my thanks coach to keep my muscles the way they're supposed to be in, the key, in case of an I know, hit that uh, my knee will last. But that's, so it's, it's not really anything that I'm like, con concerned about during a game. Well, something really cool about you is that you're actually from Germany. What influenced your decision to come to UNH? Um, it's it, I first of all uh, um, I obviously wanted to to play basketball, so um, I get in, got in contact with UNH, and I honestly based it of a lot of um, online research, and I saw that um, there's going to be a brand new staff, so that I was like, okay, this is going to be fresh. It's on the East Coast, obviously, so it's closer to home. I really like that. And um, it just it seemed like they're really, it's it's a really close family. Even even on the videos, like I felt like I was really really overwhelmed about the whole spirit of UNH. So that's definitely contributed to uh, coming here. Had you ever been to the states or New Hampshire before you got here? Um, New Hampshire, Hampshire, actually never before. I um, I visited my family in New York before twice, I believe. Um, but it was great. Yeah, coming here. What's it like playing basketball over there in Germany as opposed to over here? Um, a lot of people ask me that, and playing both both games, um, I I don't know. I probably adapted like a lot already here, so I can't really tell it anymore. But I feel like that um, the the girls are like more lanky and and fast over there, whereas here it's more like physical, especially on the post. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so say something in German for us. Let's hear it. Let's go Wildcats. Um, Auf geht's Wildcats. All right. Thank you, Sarah. Good luck.